so like recently this activity that we did with our uh, cohort also mm-hmm. that uh, before even talking about the content that you want to create yeah. create the positioning statement that you want people to know and recognize you the moment when they hear the statement yeah so it has to be that you know you are this and this is what you will help the other person feel or do in yeah. order to get the transformation done yeah yeah right like for example i'll say that uh, my name is sahas and i create content that makes you smarter right if i want to add a little more i'm also a founder of media agency yeah. which gets billions of views for our clients there you go you know in the movie making yeah uh, when th- for any post poster that used to get launched or any mm. uh, you know first movie uh, trailer is launched mm. there is always a log line mm-hmm. which means that you know define this movie in one or two statement oh, i see and that example i always take in my uh, you know my field of uh, business also mm-hmm. and for for the clients that we are working with what would that log line be about your content or your business it's like your offer mm-hmm. what am i going to get out of it yeah. and then people want to watch that trailer want to watch that movie right. so your statement is what you're talking yeah. about is also similar to speak that speak like right? a ceo is yeah. my tagline it tells you everything you need yeah. to know you, it's an interesting example you gave of the movies if you think of the dark knight rises yeah one of the phrases that i still remember from a movie is bruce why do we fall oh i love that so we can learn to pick ourselves back up again oh, yes so earlier when we talked about having that message in a speech yeah you also do that in movies yeah and see you remember that message from the movie yeah, right you course. might have forgotten some of the minor details but that yeah. message sticks message long term same with game of thrones Exactly. So many. What so is that? Many. Lannisters don't pay their debts. Debt, right? And then chaos is a ladder. Yeah. What is it? None don't pay their debts. Lannisters always. Always pay. I'm screwing <laughs> up every quote in this podcast so far. But yeah, Lannis- Lannisters always pay their debts. They have yeah. all of these quotes that you yeah. remember and you tell other people. That's. I'll give you an example of this. I think this will help. With confidence, there's also another element of, sure, I'm confident, but I want, be, I want myself and my message to be memorable. I want people to remember what I said and how I made them feel. I had a such a powerful thing happen to me many years ago. I once did a workshop for public speaking. And people would come in and they would participate, I would bring them up on stage, get them to speak, that kind of thing. And there's this one woman walked in and she sat right at the back by herself in the corner. And I could tell she was a little shy, she didn't want to participate. I said, "Okay, whatever." We did the workshop, never thought about it again. Then I did the next workshop again. and the same woman showed up and she sat exactly in the same exact place right at the back now i'm thinking maybe she has some sort of anxiety and mm. she's scared and should i go and talk to her i don't know okay let's just leave her alone she looks like she's just here to watch and then i bring other people up everyone's having a great time and then she leaves never talks to anyone the third time i do the workshop she comes up there again and this time when i'm looking for participants usually i say hey raise your hand and come up here i said you know what I feel like she needs that extra kick. If mm. I just bring her on stage, I can make her a better public speaker. Mm. So I said, "Hey, I've seen you here a couple of times. Can I just give you a question and you can come up here and just speak?" And mm. everyone just said, "Yeah, that's a good idea." And there's a little bit of pro- social pressure being built up. Mm. So I said, "Don't worry, I'll ask you an easy question." And this is the only question that came to mind. I said, "Tell me about the last time you kissed someone." Mm. And she slowly got up. She's looking around you can tell she's anxious. anxious she's looking at the floor the entire time it takes her a minute just to walk to the stage i shake her hand and i sit back down and the audience is looking at her to perform which is very similar to how i was when i started right mm. so she stands there for 10 seconds 15 seconds 30 seconds a whole minute passes by people are looking around like is she okay like is she panicking what's happening and someone's giving me a sign hey man like you should hmm. get her off the stage now i'm feeling guilty that i brought her up so just when i'm getting off the chair she finally looks up at the audience and says my last kiss would have been to my grandma right before she passed and then she sat back down one single sentence and i had tears in my eyes then i have tears in my eyes now telling that story but what it taught me was it doesn't matter how many words you say it doesn't matter what the filler words are it doesn't matter what the gestures are 
if you can make me feel something in that moment, all of the other public speaking techniques go out the window. None of that matters. And it's been about 10 years now since, and I'm still telling you that story. And it was one single sentence. That's it. So this is what I tell people. If you want to be memorable, you want people to remember you, don't focus on the tips and techniques, which admittedly today we've done. We've talked a lot about that. Focus on the story, the message, and the feeling. How can you make someone feel? Because they won't forget that. Mm-hmm. And I've had this happen so many times. And it's a constant reminder to me that don't just focus on the vocabulary. Yeah. Focus on how you make people feel. Mm. Yeah, this was a showstopper <laughs> kind of a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to this podcast. And if you're not subscribed yet, then click right now and subscribe. Because every week I'm going to post a video or a podcast. And it is going to be about marketing, content creation, and business. And if you want to check out some other videos and interviews, then here are some of my recommendations for you.